<laughs> I'm being a serious one. And welcome to They Said After Another Brief Hiatus. Because... <laughs> Oh, because producer was sick last week. And then it was a holiday. And then it was a holiday. Wow, well, I haven't been here in like a month at least. Two huh? weeks. We weren't here two weeks. Yeah, but then remember, we... <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then Ian wasn't, wasn't here. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Here. That's right. Oh, you guys missed me. <laughs> yeah, it's because the Philly would not shut the fuck up. Oh, I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that the show went on and on and on and on. I yeah. didn't, I'm sorry, I just my attention span. When it's Ophelia. <laughs> <laughs> It's the Ophelia show featuring they say. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Did you guys just sit here too and go like Ophelia okay. and her crew. <laughs> Like the rhythm a little bit because usually like when you talk you go this way and then you go like this but she was like what do you think Courtney and I was like I just usually like used to that and then it was like so different I was like oh, I don't, I don't know why do I have to go first <laughs> did you just sit there and go I, well I, I yeah I, I, don't I don't know <laughs> yeah like this oh yeah I don't know. <laughs> but we have been gone for a while and some things have changed because somebody got hitched. <laughs> I did not do that. Apparently someone's Facebook updates is in a relationship. I uh, no, I didn't change that. He changed that. Did you change it back? No. <laughs> really? Well. I didn't notice that until I start cuz we were at home and when we left, I start seeing all the shit going on on my Facebook <laughs> and it came up on my phone. So I went in there and I looked and oh, I was like, you can't do comments. that. You can't do that on your phone. You know, you can't change it back on your phone. Yeah, you have to do it so, on the Yeah. So I, it, it showed my likes and then and I was like, what the fuck are they talking about? So I went there and then, you know, when you do that on your Facebook, it shows a big picture of the person you're in. Oh, yeah. They just, <laughs> in case you forgot who you're in. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's actually like really funny because they just like started doing that recently, yeah. I feel like. Because when I dated that girl for like a little while, like, read as, as, your choices. as soon as, no, as soon as <laughs> we became like an page. item, it literally like, the whole, the whole thing was like, it was like you're in a relationship now, and it like picks a random photo yeah. of the two of oh, you. Oh, random one! Oh, yeah. oh, really? I was gonna say, yeah. can you change your picture before? Well, you I know make what? This Mine special? doesn't. We don't have a picture together, so it just went my like my my profile. But picture. your profile yeah. on his page. But you know what? The funny on. thing it says, um, what was that Thursday night that they had here? When? With the tranny night, what was it? The Wednesday juicy one? Or? Fruit, juicy fruit. Oh, juicy fruit. And it's oh. like my picture in there, and it's got this big logo here. It says juicy fruit, and I'm like this with my drink. <laughs> and it went on his face, looked like, oh, fool. Like would you Would you ever, okay, because he did this without telling you, apparently, which is really weird. But yeah. would you? Uh, <laughs> I know, because you know, he was telling me, I want you to go serious. put on your relationship status that you're uh, terribly in love, desperately oh, in love with brother. Chris Metcalf. I, I don't even know how to pronounce his last name. Or know his last name for that matter. I know his name because, like, after like the first time we went out, he added me on Facebook. He added me on Yahoo. And so, how long have you guys been dating? Apparently, you're dating. Like a month. Would you, without somebody do that, would you change your Facebook status to a new relationship ever? You're married. That doesn't count. <laughs> I've never like, done change, it. Change someone like, no, else's or change your? No. Would you? When was the appropriate time that you would change your Facebook stuff? Because you know people are changing their. <laughs> when yeah. she did it. Oh, uh, when she did it. <laughs> <laughs> like. Uh, I told him that. You know what I said? <laughs> you know, I told him I said, you know, the minute you change your Facebook status, I'll change mine. So apparently he went and changed yeah. his first, and then he changed mine. That's kind of how I am. Like I don't. Like if a girl's gonna like a girl's gonna change like we're actually in a serious relationship. I feel like at that point you also kind of know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's when it would get done, kind of thing. I mean, whereas like if you're breaking up, like well, see, to me, like I ask computer, people, like, <laughs> what does it mean when somebody that you're dating, it's asking you on Facebook for a friend request? You know, because it's never happened to me that I'm dating. I mean, I was oh, with my ex like for like four request. years, approve, and yeah. we never were friends on, on Facebook. I never changed my status in there. <laughs> And then, like within a week, he's asking me to go on Facebook, uh, be my friend on Facebook, and I'm like, okay, well, let's see. But what's the purpose of changing your? <laughs> what's the purpose of changing your faith, your relationship status? Status? I can't even say it on Facebook. What is the point? That's like the new official. Yeah, yeah. that makes it, it official. Yeah. I feel like it jinxes it personally. Oh, it like super jinxes it. <laughs> I feel like I 100 percent agree with that. <laughs> I changed it like two but, weeks before I broke up with someone. Well, <laughs> but 
for the record, I haven't had sex with this guy, and we've been going out for a month. <laughs> wow, things have changed. Yeah. <laughs> Why? I mean, like, we'd seen each other every, like, every other day. Like, he spent the whole weekend in my house. So you're exclusive and everything? Well, I haven't seen anybody since I started going out with them. You know, I just mean, like, so busy working and working. Like, when we see each other, we're so tired. We just normally, like, pass out watching movie. And, like, Saturday, we went out and spent, like, $50 in junk food and just went home and started watching movies. <laughs> I know I'm getting you hard. You don't want to war, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's good, you know. I mean, that's, we argue. It's really we good. argue that's a really, lot really because good. he's from New York and he's like that widow kind of guy, like you know. Uh, and he's okay, Liz. He's good. Liz. Stop, stop it. <laughs> so, do you find? Do you think <laughs> is this a more deeper relationship? I kind of feel like it is, you know, because normally I just meet somebody and fuck him, and I don't care, right. you know. And this guy, we 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 hung out the first time we came here. It was on a Sunday, and. The whole time we were riding from my house over here, he was getting on my nerves because he was complaining how much he was working and this and that. And then like, we parked over here at the bank and he had to go to the 7-Eleven to get changed. And he wanted me to go walking with them to the 7-Eleven and I'm wearing fucking high heels. And so he started bitching and I was like thinking the whole time. I put it on Facebook. I said, oh my God, I'm so ready to dish this uh. motherfucker as soon as I get into the brass rail. But once he had a drink, we started talking and then we just like all calmed and everything. So, hmm. After we waited 15 minutes for a drink, so, so that's a whole other story. <laughs> that's a whole different story, but yeah. So you are into the. This is really right. That's, that's awesome. This is this is news. It people. is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it's completely different you. Like yeah. It's like completely. I mean, it's only been a month, so we're, I mean, fingers yeah. crossed. But <laughs> that's pretty good. Good for you, girl. You're growing up. What's different about him than the other people? Like, what do you? Feel He's like? not trying to like get laid. Okay. You know, it's like. I'm not gonna have sex with you January, until right. I feel something for you. So I was like, okay, work through me. And then wait, see, and this is gonna go back to what we talked about before, and you disagreed with me, but watch. The first time, now that you guys have this chemistry, you're gonna have sex for the first time, and uh -huh. it's gonna be like the best sex ever. I watch. And then, like, right? the funny thing right? is, like, we'll be making love. Cause yep. Yep. <laughs> Well, the funny thing is, like, we, we kind of bump heads, you know, because he's really stubborn and I'm a bitch. And so, like, right now, we had a big fight in my house because I told him, you know, your fucking pictures are old, you know. And he said, oh, what are you saying? I look old. I look fat. And this and I was like, you're fucking turning my words around. I was like, you know what? I need a cigarette. I walked out and I started smoking. And I went on crack, was looking at the ass while I was relaxing. I was like, well, laying inside of my room. Uh, yeah, this is going to last for a long time. I see wedding bells. Well, you know what? My ex-boyfriend was a Leo. He's a Leo. Oh, and yeah. I was with him for four years. What's so. your sign? Taurus. Taurus? Yeah. Oh. What's yours? Cancer. Aquarius. Aquarius. Gemini. Hmm. We're all different. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means, but we're all different. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally all I know about signs is what mine is. That's... I don't even know like what my bracket is or anything like that. Like, you know what's your compatibility? No. Mine's are Leo, actually. Yeah. Gemini. Mine... <laughs> Mine are Leos and Gemini's. Gemini's yeah. my most compatible, and then Leo. Yeah, which my ex was a Leo, which is really weird. Brother, <laughs> uh, what's going on, Dustin? You look dashing. Yes, it looks really good tonight. Do you have different colored eyes? Yeah. Interesting. I thought so. One's they're, blue, one's they're, brown. They're like the like green and brown. They change colors. Yeah, normally stuff. you can't see them with the glasses on. Yeah, <laughs> I've always got my giant glasses on and stuff. But got a haircut, contacts. Trying to, that. He's feeling good tonight. He's feeling yeah. good. Trying to pay management. Trying to get, <laughs> trying to actually talk to girls again and stuff like that. See what happens there. So breaking out of the shell. Yeah. Yeah. They say guys don't make passes at girls who wear glasses. I <laughs> I think girls wear glasses are cute. You never like, heard that before. You never heard that? Never. Oh. That's adorable. I like this look. You should go with this more often. Is he getting laid more, Julian? Oh. No. Is he getting I laid, know. period? <laughs> um, but there was like, there's weird, like, interesting, interesting things that are like starting. So we'll see what happens there. But you, know, uh, you know what? I was just hearing your horoscope today. It said some new shit is coming around your way. Oh, Because really? my mom is a, a cancer. Uh, like, and I see him on TV. <laughs> And I, I listen to mine and hers because my mom's a gambler and she's always at the casino and I'm always telling her, girl, your horse gets upset not to go to the casino. And, you know, it says, you know, <laughs> just be patient. Things are coming your way and this and that. So. Um. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you. Uh, who's an astrologer? She, she's our political <laughs> analyst, and today she's like, oh, she's I'm all over like, the place today. <laughs> uh, what's going on again? I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> last night I went to Bourbon Street and got pretty drunk. Um, That's every Sunday for you. Oh, no, no, I mean, I, I, like, I go drink and stuff like that, but like, I was like, I like blacked out last night and oh. woke up to text messages and realized that one of my friends, um, who's a lesbian, um, that we had a conversation last night, that she's ready to switch back to guys and she would like me to be her first and I <laughs> agreed to it and we like made, <laughs> and, like made a plan for it and I woke up today I'm like, I need to figure out how to not do this now. It's all in his calendar, he's all <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, hey. Yeah. Um, Did you say, hey, I was drunk. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, let's ha- let's just go get lunch instead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, I'm not going to fuck you today. <laughs> let's go have sushi. Yeah. <laughs> we'll both have fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Raw God. Raw fish. Oh, I saw that coming out. <laughs> um, I mean, I, is she cute? Yeah, I don't know how this conversation happened. No. Feminine? Yeah. Like, but the thing is, like, I'm really good friends with her ex, too. Girl? Yeah. Like, so I'm just like, I I, I can't. Nope, you can't. with that. Apparently last night I was like, I can, though. (laughs) You know, when we're drunk, we're strong. Oh. (laughs) Julian's there just letting me do, like, whatever the hell I was going to do. Like, not stop me or anything, so... That's for you. Oh my god, you're gonna, it's gonna be scandalous. Next week's show's gonna have a lot of dirt on it, too. I love it. Yeah. I'll be single again. Oh! <laughs> single in a relationship with a husband with a husband who's now pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> this one will be in an open marriage. Oh, we'll, have <laughs> first, we'll have our first uh, brass rail baby. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, okay, we're gonna take a break. <laughs> and be right back. So, while we were away, we, uh, oh, I don't know. Hi. We missed, uh, well, we didn't miss it, we watched it. With the uh, Gay Academy Awards, <laughs> the Gay Super Bowl. <laughs> It's like, I thought it was like, regular Academy Awards. It's well, it is. Yeah, yeah, I got it mixed up. I was yeah. going to say the Gay Super Bowl. Can we do that over? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're going to talk about the Oscars. Uh, did everyone okay. watch them? Yes. No. You, no, what, what, what? I knew she didn't because when you were talking, she kept turning her head. I thought like, you uh, watched it. No, I saw the. I e- saw parts of it. I here. saw the end oh. of it. Um, I was up at a hockey game, so I missed it. I totally forgot like what day it was. I didn't even set it to record or anything. Oh. So we were at a bar like after the game, and I saw Jennifer Lawrence like fall. I'm like, oh, the Oscars on, and apparently she won. Well, Courtney and I are gonna have a conversation. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was amazing. <clears throat> it was I really thought, good. Right? Mm-hmm. And Seth, I liked it. Uh, is it Rogan? No, McFarland. McFarland is super hot. He's super hot. He's super funny, and he's really smart. Is yeah. he gay? No. No. I guess there's rumors though. Yeah. I heard it was kind of boring. <clears throat> no, because here's what they did. They had, it was probably the gayest Academy Awards ever. They had a musical tribute, um, like it, it was focused on the music of the movies kind mm-hmm. of thing. So they did, um, oh, oh my god. They had, um, they did uh, Chicago. They had What's Your Face, Catherine Zeta Jones. <laughs> yes. And the then, still looks amazing. And then they had Jennifer Hudson come out singing Dream Girls, uh-huh. which of course, mind you, I was sitting at home by myself because I cannot be distracted when I'm watching it. <laughs> and I have to be able to focus. And people talking drives me up a fucking wall. So you can imagine my it's like my liking when Jennifer Hudson comes out. I'm like, oh my God, and I gasp. <laughs> <laughs> and then on top of that, that's done. And then a lay Miz, the whole the cast comes out. Came out. I'm that sorry, okay, I'm getting goosebumps oh. now. Oh my god! It was amaze balls. It was like, what you think? <laughs> <laughs> it was really good. I liked it a lot. I loved it. And then um, Jennifer Lawrence. Yes. Is you know who she is? She is from the Hunger from Games. Hunger Games, and then oh, okay, okay. In the um, Silver, Silver Linings Lord. playbook. Which yeah. I still need to see. I want to see that really bad. I'm yeah, I haven't seen any of them yet. But she's pretty badass. I think yeah. she's like one of my new favorites. She was Mystique. Yo, yeah, she was Mystique. 
in um, X Men First uh, Class. I was, I was just playing. watching that. Yeah. So she played the younger version. Yeah. She was the she blonde in it. Yeah. Yeah. She's blue. But it was good. And then um, okay, so <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about that she fell. Oh, well, tell us what happened. Well, when she accept, when she went to accept her award, her dress was so huge when she tripped up the stairs. But she did a classy like. I keep seeing all these pictures. I keep seeing all these pictures of like comparing her to like Disney princesses where they're like falling on the ground like this. Like, she looked oh. like a, yeah, it was beautiful. I, yeah. I like how she made fun of herself. You know? Yeah, she was like, you guys are only giving me a standing ovation because I fell and it was embarrassing. <laughs> did you see, you have to YouTube or something, did you see her, like, after she won where they do, she it was the press. She talked about, about being drunk backstage or something Hilarious. Like and she was like, uh, there, oh my God, it's, it's hard for me to reenact it. They were like, why did you fall? And she's like, look at my dress. <laughs> <laughs> like, you <idiot>. <laughs> 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 Hello. <laughs> and then she's trying to answer questions. She's like, I'm sorry, I just did a Take shot, shot back. backstage. And I'm like, oh, let's go. She's great. I, I can't love her. She's great. Who, who celebrity-wise like that, would you, who, whose life would you want to live for like a day? Like, she would be, think about it, it would be a blast to live her life. Maybe Jennifer like Lopez. Fucking a 22-year-old. I was just about hey. to say that. He's 25, <laughs> but... <laughs> well, he was 22 when they hooked up, so... Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that would be a good one. Uh-huh. Huh. But I would do it more for than the, just the sex, Alejandro. Oh, because mine was going to be whoever's sleeping with Bradley Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you say there's somebody trying to hook him up on dates now. It's not on some talk show. The talk, I think I saw it on. I have no idea. Think about what guy... Like George Clooney? Ew. Oh. <laughs> He's oh. old. Yeah, because his girlfriend. What's her face? I don't know who I want to be either. I think it'd be kind of cool to be someone like, like Michael Jordan for a day. Because that dude is so insanely, like, so insanely famous. Like wherever he goes, like, just to see like what that would. Because everyone talks about it all the time. Like when Charles Barkley was on a really big basketball player, also like yeah. he's like I'm really famous. He's like I hang out with Michael, and no one even notices me. Like people like drop huh. whatever they're doing when they see him. Like he's like a god to people because they like you're like oh my god. oh my god because they've watched him like growing yeah. up and all that stuff. Like, he lives in Miami now too. I think or Florida or something. He just got married. Oh sorry, I'm playing footsies with you. He <laughs> just got married or something, or is engaged to some little tiny chick down in Florida. Really? Yeah, in Miami. He's probably explaining that bitch into Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah, didn't you? Oh, oh, no, mind. oh, oh <laughs> we're going down that <laughs> path right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, <Corey>? ah, ah. <laughs> I'm obviously in one piece. So. <laughs> I know how to handle my oh, <laughs> best episode ever. You are fabulous too. It's, it's so funny to like just had a comment on Saturday to Betty and Ricky about you being all innocent. Too. Uh, I know. I just saw them. They're over at Chris Cafe right now, and I walked by and I saw them in the window, and they're like, "Oh, Ian says you're dirty," and I'm like, "I'm vanilla." <laughs> In the shower. <laughs> oh Unshowered. <my> <laughs> cool. Have you guys? Have you had a nationality that's been like cra- the craziest sex you've ever had? Black guys have are really, 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 really good sex. I mean, it doesn't matter how big they are; they make it fit and they make it not hurt. Do you hear like groaning or voice? Oh, I love <laughs> right now. Did you hear that? I love that you said they just never mind. I was like, "Are we going to get They'll make you so relaxed you won't feel a thing, a pleasure. Are African American women like that? I, I've only had sex with white girls. Really? One Mexican. One Mexican? Yeah. Mexican. Huh. I'm not even going here. Uh, <laughs> you can't plead the fifth on this. Not even going to this conversation. Um, I do have a question though, because we were talking about Miami, and I'm going to reference. Uh, the Kim and Courtney show. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Because there was an interesting quote that I saw that uh, uh, Kim Kardashian, you know, Pregos and all that, <clears throat> she was saying that um, if, a, if a boyfriend cheats or if a wife cheats, it's because the partner is to blame. Because the partner is not paying attention or focusing and all that. Do you agree with that? 
I mean, if it's a matter of if the relationship, if you're not giving the proper attention and love, I mean, do you find that you would be the one at fault? He needs to communicate that to me. I feel like there's what certain. I feel like there's certain situations possibly where it could be. I'm never going to say the partner's the one completely to blame. The other one's the one like doing it. Yeah. But I feel like there are situ- probably situations where the partner is more to bl- like has a good amount of blame as well because of like maybe things that they're doing wrong. But it could be that, or unless the girl's a fucking whore. What do you mean, this girl? Like if you are dating a whore. It doesn't matter how much attention you're giving her, she's still gonna go out there and yeah. fuck somebody else, or or the guy or the girl. You know, I'm just, oh, I'm not well, just yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever cheated? Oh yeah. And so, well, yeah. That's. Have you ever cheated? Mm-hmm. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh. <laughs> why? Why did you cheat? Um, I, all I've ever done. Why, cheating, Justin? Why? I've Tell never, us. No. I've never had sex. <laughs> I've never had sex with someone cheating though. All I've ever done is like make out with someone and stuff and is other, that cheating? other other things stuff. Yeah, that's when, another conversation for another segment. Yeah. We can go off on that. I mean, it depends on the person and how, like, where you're. I feel it's like it's where talk. you're at and all that. It, well, I'm sorry. It depends on where you're at because those were. I mean, those were like older relationships, which were like high school and right out of high school and stuff like that. So it was like that's what we were doing. But there was one that like I was like going to have sex with the girl if the girl I was dating at the time didn't call me. Like my phone went off like when she was like already like naked and on top of me. I'm like, okay, we're not going to do this now. But you had a girl on top of you naked, and then your and girlfriend called you. called you and you stopped. Yeah. Really? You can't we, stop. We had like a, we had like a super like. I mean, you were already corny naked. fucking ringtone. <laughs> I was. You didn't just throw the phone to I the wasn't side. Naked. <laughs> oh, she was. She was. God, how did that? I you still had you were waiting till the last minute what? until you actually penetrated oh, the her. Girl, the girl's naked first always. <laughs> Uh, what do they do? do? What do girls just drop their clothes when they're around you? No, I just take them off of them right away. Oh, <laughs> guys, I always get naked. Guys naked first. If they have a small day, I like turn around. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you ever cheated? No. 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 I've never cheated either. No. I'm pretty good. But what about emotionally? Like, has anyone ever been cheated on? Huh? Has anyone ever been cheated on? Praise! <laughs> Wait, no, don't praise that! I mean, well, well, because I did at the time, I didn't, like, would not acknowledge that I was being cheated on. Oh, it when it was pretty much in my face. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, like, you can, like, now, I mean, I was a young kid. I was, like, 20 to 24. Like, I was with this person for a long time, and it was, like, oh my god, I was, I was blind. I was so fucking blind and we didn't want to acknowledge it. Yeah, so I've been cheated on. That, which is probably why I've never cheated on someone. I never would cheat on someone. I think, I, I think that's the reason why I cheated because I've been fucked over so many times that I was like, you know what? Fuck you. I'm going to be the one fucking you over this time. Yeah, but then you become jaded and it's kind of like, that's like a, I mean. No, this is the thing you got to find like, like, like somewhere, like when you find the right person, you don't have to do that. Like the person. Like right now, I don't feel like going and fucking somebody else. I had somebody over at my house a couple of days ago and we didn't have sex. I was like, you know what? This is not happening. I'm not feeling it. I think she's in love. I'm getting that vibe. I sure am. <laughs> no, because I'm so like tired, and then like I, I'm being so like taking care of like you know paying att- he's paying attention to me the whole time and everything. Mm-hmm. I don't need to go somewhere else and try to get attention. For I haven't even posted on Craigslist for two months. Put it that way. <laughs> Is that where you guys met? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're first, he'll be cruising first he responded to my ad, then I responded to his ad, so. Ah, interesting. <laughs> I think I see wedding bells. So you've never been cheated. Emot- emotionally, like, what would you <clears throat> categorize, like, emotional cheating? Have you, I mean, you've been married for so long. Yeah, no. Um, like, you know, in the beginning, like, when we were first dating, I would kind of get jealous when he'd have, like, other friends that were girls, and he'd, like, spend a lot of time with them and stuff. But, I mean, you could can, kind of, I mean, now, if that happened, if there was, like, a woman that he was, like, out every night like hanging out with and stuff I might consider that like emotionally cheating what if he had like you have your best friends are males what <laughs> but if they're he... all gay hey 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 <laughs> <laughs> well look at some of them want to turn back to being <laughs> you never know we but if he had if he has no problem with me coming to Hillcrest he's dead well, what if he had like his best friend was a girl if his best friend was a girl but is she a lesbian no well, I don't know. So I mean, I would, be, I would, I mean, you know, it would depend on how well I knew this person. 
Oh. If it was somebody like that he like just met from work and like they were hanging out a lot and stuff, I would obviously be suspicious, but be like, bring that bitch here, I wanna meet her. Yeah, obviously I'd wanna meet her. <laughs> but there's a lot of trust, you know. There's, yeah. So Yeah, I kinda have to have that right after that. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay, we're gonna take another break and then come back with a producer question. Question. This <laughs> <laughs> is like, what are we doing? Uh, all right, so we're gonna do some events. Uh, and Alejandra has no events. What are you talking about? Excuse <laughs> <laughs> me. What? what? Uh, Dustin, what's going on here at the fabulous Brass Rail? Um, the rest of the, we have Glitter Cup Disco this month. Oh. On Friday the 31st, I believe it is. Or it might be the 30th. You really should, like, I mean, this is completely, but you should not wear your glasses more often. You look really good I just this. got contacts again, so I'm going to start wearing yeah. my contacts all the time. Right? Yeah. That's completely, that's me and shiny optics. Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Um, uh, and we're starting to work on some Thursdays that we're probably going to roll out in April, so that'll be fun. I know um, Alejandro may be looking for gigs on Thursdays. I have a Thursday night, actually. The Red oh. Wing. No. Uh, right? Thursdays I'm working in Tuesdays Lemon Grove and Mesa. Tuesdays are Red Wing. Red Wing. Yeah. So Alejandro, what events do you have? <laughs> well, let's see. I have Tuesday night karaoke at the Red Wing. I have Wednesday nights at Bourbon Street Latino night. And I have Thursday nights. It's a straight club. I'm working. We have a, a couple of Latin um, yeah. strippers, male strippers. It's called Copa Cabana. It's on Lemon Grove and Broadway. That's like <laughs> a few blocks from my house. Yeah. Yes. There you go. Romantic. <laughs> <Romance. laughs> like the stripper we Day have in night. there. It's so hot. <laughs> he's Cuban and he's so hot. Uh, oh, nice. Those Cubans. Oh I yeah. Tell you. Um, <laughs> what? Um, I'm just stressing a lot because like they're pushing me to have the lineup that I'm gonna have for Gay Pride this year. Because apparently they're not gonna have a real performer artist, a big name artist oh, on the a main big stage. Headliner? Are you allowed yeah. to say that now? Yeah. Well, I'm not allowed to, but I don't give a fuck. They're so Pride is not having a headliner. They're having apparently big name DJs. You know, it. DJs. But like, does that mean like? Big name here DJs or like no, they're mouse, bringing somebody from like like, like like somebody from out of town and stuff like that. It's mostly going like to be Calvin Harris. Yeah, if they, yeah. If they, like if they did if, that, that'd be different. Oh no, if they got like if they got like Dead Mouse and Calvin Harris Sounds and like something like really. I know Sweet Shots Mafia <laughs> might be breaking up, but like if they had stuff like that, yeah, they'd be able to they'd sell out. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, they would go. Yeah, but here's the Are thing, like, like, shut the fuck up, Julia. <laughs> Bitch, I haven't seen you in two weeks and you're yelling now. Relax. Sorry, people. <laughs> so, and that's why we're, like, trying to push to get this, um, a big name for our Latin stage. Because that's, like, aside from the main stage, that's one of the bigger stages. Okay. And, um, we're pushing for it. So, we it's got a couple. It's always the loudest. Of, yeah, especially if I'm on the microphone. Mm -hmm. You can hear me all the way from the entrance. That's what people were telling me last year. Hmm. So. Uh, you know, I have a question that I'd ask you in regards to Lemon Grove. Uh -huh. Do you, because you're in like a different environment, do you, what are you smiling for? <laughs> you're in a different environment. Are you, are you nervous ever? Like, I'm worried about your safety here. Like, uh, no. Leaving the club and all that? No, because normally I go like, we go like two or three of us and then like the people that hire us, they're like, you know, they advertise what it is that's going uh, on. Oh, you know? really? Yeah, yeah. Well, that would make me ner even more nervous. No, no, because um, they need a bodyguard. No, I mean, like, my mom goes there, my cousin goes there with their boyfriend, and, oh, like, right. we normally go all in a group, and, like, people are very respectful. It's mostly women that go, because we have the, the yeah, strippers. Yeah. Are like, gay guys allowed? Yeah, oh, yeah. Totally. Hey, club. Do you even know how to get to Lemon Grove? <laughs> I lived in... <laughs> Just follow sirens. I yeah. actually really don't. They have GPS nowadays. Whenever someone in Hoka has asked me where I'm from, I say, let me go. They go, how do you get there? I go, the 94? They're like, there's a 94, What's the 94? freeway. Yeah, nobody knows. <laughs> I just I tell them the 94 and then 125. I'm under there. No, it's by <laughs> Cowles Mountain, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's the eight. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Yeah, that's La Mesa. That's La Mesa. <laughs> yeah, that's La Mesa. <laughs> I lived in Spring Valley briefly, like, 17 years ago. Shit. Yeah. Oh. Um, we got the Fabulous Press <laughs> Rally. <laughs> to you. We're gonna yes, I know. Out. I live there, too. <laughs> 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 
Uh, it's hockey. events? No. 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 I have some. Uh, oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. I'm not doing um, no, we just had our, our two meetings. Uh, our meetings set till the end of the month. Last do they Monday do, of the month. Do they do fundraisers and stuff? Um, yeah, well, right now we're trying to push our scholarships. Um, mm -hmm. Our scholarship thingy for kids that are going into college or kids that are in college, LGBT students. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> we're going to start like, posting about that because we're going to have our scholarship meeting, I think, in May or June. So I do love P5. I love P5. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, we have on March 21st is, oh my god, why well, I don't know why I'm laughing right now. Uh, March 21st is a food truck event. <laughs> Are you high or something? No, I'm not high. <laughs> um, it's our... Oh it's, no, he's crying! <laughs> Did somebody pour something out of the water or what? Uh, March 24th. <laughs> I can't answer the question. I don't know what the are is. Okay. Look at your eyes. They're all red. Uh, March 21st is at the center is a Dining Out for Life kickoff event. It is uh, Food Truck Fierceness. Oh, I saw that on Facebook. Fierceness. Uh, How many food trucks? Um, almost 10. I think we're eliminating it, to, limiting it to like 7, 8. Um, so they can make money and all that yeah, yeah. stuff. Uh, but there's going to be the Dining Out for Life Divas. Uh, it's 5 to 8. It should be a lot of fun. Um, it's going to be very festive. It's gonna, uh, Hilkus Brewing Company is sponsoring the year. Yeah, it's in a couple weeks. It's like two and a half, three weeks. March 21st? Yeah, Thursday. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's five two weeks. Mm -hmm. And then um, Dining Out for Life is on <laughs> April 25th. And we are currently looking for ambassadors. So... People that like represent the restaurants and the bars, go around and talk. And also, if you have a group that's going out, let us know, and we'll uh, promote that and stuff. So we have like a hundred as of today. We're uh, like ninety-eight restaurants, ninety-nine restaurants. Nice. And like over twenty-five of them are brand new places that we've never had, including all the new places in town that have opened up, like uh, Great Maple, Project Pie, Sloppy's Burritos. So is that gonna be an all-day event? Or yeah, it's all day. Um, the place Salt and Cleaver that's not even open yet, they're signed up. So all kinds of new places. It's really awesome. It's exciting to see you. So I can't wait. Uh, question is, I can't read that. You had to sleep with the opposite sexual orientation, would you? Okay, what does that mean to begin with? Like, so would you <laughs> explain that to me. So it's like, would I sleep with a gay guy? Would you sleep with a lesbian? Would you guys sleep with straight people? Oh, fuck, I'm always fucking straight people. <laughs> well, they claim to be straight. <laughs> I would not have a problem with sleeping with a straight man. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> a straight woman. Oh, I mean, um, that all depends. On what? Never say never. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he likes fish tacos. Yeah, oh, <laughs> that's pushing it. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, okay, there's Woody and there's Pickle. Oh yeah, I would think, you? You would. Could I you? think I could. I do think I could. I do think I could. I don't think I could. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of like imagining and like. Oh no, no. God. Uh, I can't. I had head. I got head from a girl, and I got just flaccid. I was in the fourth moment. <laughs> <laughs> you said flaccid. I hate that word. I mean, I don't. Yeah. Do you hate that word? I hate that word. So you what? Flaccid. Yeah. I mean, like, I was so busy out here. I didn't know who, who, who I was all up in here, and I knew who was. And then I went like this. I was like, oh no! And I was just like, Rrr. I was like, girl, you gotta get out. Let me alone with the three guys in here. <laughs> Dustin, do you have a story like that? No, I don't. <laughs> you need to hang out with me more often. Would you ever? Would I? Fuck a guy in the ass. Oh, no. I mean, no. I'm. <laughs> would you? Could you? Could you? No, I mean, like, that, that would. I don't know what that means. Like, if yeah, you it's had to. Oh, if you, I mean, if you, if you, like, you're going to die otherwise, yeah. Like, <laughs> it's I'd rather really, it. This like, is getting really intense now. Like, like that's what I was like. It was like, if you had to. I was like, what do you mean if you had to? <laughs> Life uh, or death. Like, you are two in a desert island and you're fucking horny and you're tired of jerking off. Yeah, you would. <laughs> I would. I would not. I don't. I don't, care. Know, I don't know. 
I, I don't know. It's true. You don't really know. Courtney? Yes. You would? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Would. Attention, Courtney's easier husband. <laughs> it is, isn't it interesting though? It is easier for women because women actually automatically have that um, thing. It's less about that thing? What's that thing? I thought women are more in tune with like it's their feminine side. I used to watch Real Sex on HBO or Cinemax late at night. <laughs> HBO. No, women are more in tune with other. I don't know what I'm with saying. With vagina? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it could be the same with guys. You know, guys are more in touch with their penises, and you know, a guy knows how to please better, I guess. Or is that what? But he said no. <laughs> He's never tried it. You should just give it a shot, Dustin. It's really not all that bad. <laughs> 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 Oh, Here's God. what I always yeah. tell the straight guys. I, I said, you know what? It is more intense when you're coming with something up your ass. You come harder. And they're like, really? I'm like, yep. Let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we will see you next week. <laughs>